The head of the Libyan parliament says about 50 people have been arrested in connection with the killing of the U.S. ambassador in Benghazi on Tuesday. Mohamed Magariev said there was no doubt the attack was pre-planned rather than a response to a U.S.-made film mocking the Prophet Muhammad. Eight Libyans and four Americans, including Ambassador Christopher Stevens, were killed during the assault. The U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Susan Rice, has said a small-scale protest was hijacked by clusters of extremists. Well, let's talk a bit more about that. Joining me live from Washington is our correspondent Zoe Conway. And Zoe, Ambassador Rice's remarks seem to indicate that she does feel this was spontaneous. I think it's fair to say that the U.S. administration has been having a difficult time on the talk shows this morning because what, the, uh, what this prominent Libyan politician has been saying this morning is that this was a pre-planned attack on that consulate in Benghazi and that it was months in the planning. Yet we heard a few moments later from the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Susan Rice, that this was a spontaneous um, attack. Now, she did say that the FBI is still investigating, but those two statements seem to be in contradiction to each other. Uh, and the administration is now really coming under pressure from Republicans to explain what's happened. I spoke to Senator John McCain a few moments ago. He's a former Republican presidential nominee and he's a ranking member of the Senate uh, Armed Services Committee. Now, what he said to me was that he thought that it was, uh, that he couldn't understand why the administration were calling it spontaneous. Um, and he said to me that um, it was clearly an act of terror. People don't bring heavy weapons and rocket-propelled grenades to demonstrations because they want to demonstrate. And he said that calling it spontaneous uh, flies in the face of the, of the facts. So um, politically, this is proving difficult for the administration. And as I say, it, it's a confusing message at the moment. And looking at the impact of these statements, Zoe, if it was pre-planned rather than spontaneous, there's implicit criticism of the administration for not having had some intelligence, some forewarning of the dangers ahead. Um, exactly. It then raises all kinds of questions about the quality of the intelligence um, that the administration um, was getting in Libya. Um, I should also say that the BBC uh, just a few days ago spoke to a prominent, prominent another prominent Libyan politician, uh, Professor Fatih uh, Baja, and he said that he met with the ambassador, Ambassador Stevens, on the day that he died and that he warned him that the security at the consulate was, was inadequate. So really on two fronts here, you know, should the security have been better and should the intelligence have been better? Those are two questions that are being asked with increasing urgency here in Washington. Zoe Conway from Washington. Thank you.